An emotional few days for our region's Catholic community, the diocese, announcing a final recommendation yesterday to close or merge 69 parishes as it battles declining attendance and bankruptcy. As hundreds across western New York navigate the loss of their parish, many are now questioning the fate of Catholic schools. The diocese announced today, or Tuesday rather, that it is in the process of developing a Catholic education strategic plan that will be finalized in the fall. But three northern Erie County Catholic schools have been instructed to coordinate a consolidation. According to school leaders, St. Benedict's Christ the King and St. Peter and Paul are to merge into one school. Tonight, a parent at St. Benedict's voicing his frustration, saying that the diocese has passed responsibility onto school leadership. As parents echo to me, their concerns surrounding enrollment, tuition, and educational practices. And I took parents' concerns directly to the diocese as they try to clear up confusion. Nandor Forgotch has two kids who attend St. Benedict's School. He tells me they've been part of the small Amherst Catholic School since his eldest daughter was five. My daughter's very shy personality, and uh, we wanted some place where she could learn to open up and feel comfortable in her surroundings and not get overpassed and really learn to be comfortable as a person. Tuesday night, the Parish 16 family, which is within the Northern Erie Vicariate, gathered for what Forgotch and other families thought would be a meeting to focus on the future of the church, which is why they say they felt blindsided when the future of their school was mentioned. With a deadline of plans to be submitted October 31st, this all caught us by surprise because we were told that the schools will not be discussed at least for a year. Another parent and parishioner is Michael Samasi, who has six children who attend St. Benedict. He was unable to speak with me due to time, but sent me this statement. Quote, what cut so deep last night was the unexpected announcement that decisions were made and processes undertaken with tight deadlines for which we, the parents, stakeholders, and consumers were not advised, prepared, or included. Samasi is a St. Benedict graduate himself. I also reached out to Father David Bellatini here for clarity. He was part of the leadership that made the announcement on Tuesday. Though he was unable to speak with me on camera, he did send me this statement. Quote, St. Benedict School, Christ the King School, and St. Peter and Paul School will engage in creating a strategic plan that will strengthen Catholic education in our area. The plan will go into effect during the 2025-2026 academic year. I also reached out to the Diocese of Buffalo Communications Director Joe Martone for more clarity. He was unable to speak with me on camera as well, but sent me this statement. Quote, the diocese is working on having schools that are geographically adjacent to one another to establish what their niche may be, look at opportunities for collaboration, and to eliminate competition among schools. In the meantime, Forgotch says that he feels like the diocese has left them in limbo about the future of their children's school. We're just tired of being lied to, kept in the dark, and not fully informed of what's going on with a lot of these communities that we have built up to support the Catholic faith, and, and we're just being constantly blindsided. To reiterate, the three schools in this family will participate in the strategic plan for the Catholic education. The deadline is October 31st. 